I'm Ariane Aaron Beer with your fast cast digital headlines for this Thursday. Taking a look at today's top stories that we're following. Authorities are suspending the search for a missing 12 year old who disappeared after the deadly landslide in Rango last month. Derek Heller, the middle Heller child, has not yet been found. Five other people have been confirmed dead in that landslide, including the other four members of the Heller family. Otto Florschutz was also found dead, though his wife survived. The city and borough of Wrangell says the decision to end the search followed 15 days of, quote, tireless and exhaustive efforts. The Assembly's committee held a special meeting with the Bronson administration as well as state officials to try and get to the bottom of why it took so long to get roads plowed and why, frankly, critics say those involved didn't do a better job. During the meeting, several Anchorage Assembly members asked whether the administration is willing to hire more staff and equipment to do a better job in the future, but the administration thinks it did a pretty good job considering how much snow we had. Calling heavy snowfall unprecedented or record-breaking, like, I, I do think there's going to be a point when the public's just not going to buy that. As I said before, I think everybody wishes that we could have plowed the snow out faster, but um, I'm not prepared to commit right now that we're, well, we're certainly looking at options, all options for improving service, but I'm not prepared to commit that we're going to hire more, more people right now. We're still discussing. The municipality continues to search for next steps in the community response to end homelessness in Anchorage. City leaders are looking to Houston, Texas to discover how that city was able to find solutions to its own homeless crisis. The community conversation comes after the approximately $4.6 million initiative known as the Next Step Initiative was introduced earlier this week to help transition 150 people out of cold weather shelters and into more permanent housing. Houston's model, which includes nationally recognized programs, focuses on finding permanent housing for those experiencing homelessness. During last night's meeting, the Houston delegation was asked questions by members of the public, and in closing remarks, Anchorage leaders expressed hope that solutions implemented in Houston could also help here. So out of the emergency cold weather shelter, we want to house 150 people. We want to really hone these skills, get this pilot going. We want to take this outside this summer. We want this to be the method in which we decommission encampments. Like we need to have a huge impact in our community and so that's what we're hoping to do with this 150 individuals in the span of four months is have a big impact in our community and then scale it up from there. And those are your fast cast digital headlines for this Thursday. Stay up to date on stories throughout the day by going to our website alaskasnewsource.com. I'm Ariane Aaron Bureau. Have a great day and thanks for watching.